In the mathematical field of differential calculus, a total derivative or full derivative of a function of several variables, e.g., etc., with respect to an exogenous argument, e.g., is the limiting ratio of the change in the function's value to the change in the exogenous argument's value. Taking into account the exogenous argument's direct effect as well as its indirect effects via the other arguments of the function, the total derivative of a function is different from its corresponding partial derivative is a function of time t and n variables which themselves depend on time. Then, the total time derivative of m is the chain rule for differentiating a function of several variables implies that this expression is often used in physics for a gauge transformation of the Lagrangian, as two Lagrangians that differ only by the total time derivative of a function of time and the n generalized coordinates lead to the same equations of motion. An interesting example concerns the resolution of causality concerning the Wheeler-Feynman time symmetric theory. The operator in brackets is also called the total derivative operator. For example, the total derivative of f, y, is here. There is no ft term since f itself does not depend on the independent variable t directly. The total derivative via differentials. Differentials provide a simple way to understand the total derivative. For instance, suppose as a function of time t and n variables as in the previous section. Then, the differential of m is this expression is often interpreted heuristically as the relation between infinitesimals. However, if the variables t and n are interpreted as functions, and is interpreted to mean the composite of m with these functions, then the above expression makes perfect sense as an equality of differential one forms, and is immediate from the chain rule for the exterior derivative. The advantage of this point of view is that it takes into account arbitrary dependencies between the variables. For example, if then, in particular, if the variables are all functions of t, as in the previous section, then dividing through by dt gives the total derivative dm, dt, the total derivative as a linear map, let be an open subset. Then a function is said to be differentiable at a point. If there exists a linear map, such that the linear map is called the derivative or differential of it, a function is differentiable if its total derivative exists at every point in its domain. Note that f is differentiable if and only if each of its components is differentiable. For this it is necessary, but not sufficient, that the partial derivatives of each function fj exist. However, if these partial derivatives exist and are continuous, then f is differentiable and its differential at any point is the linear map determined by the Jacobian matrix of partial derivatives at that point. Total differential equation. A total differential equation is a differential equation expressed in terms of total derivatives. Since the exterior derivative is a natural operator, in a sense that can be given a technical meaning, such equations are intrinsic in geometric application to equation systems. In economics, it is common for the total derivative to arise in the context of a system of equations. For example, a simple supply-demand system might specify the quantity Q of a product demanded as a function D of its price P and consumer's income I, the latter being an exogenous variable, and might specify the quantity supplied by producers as a function S of its price and two exogenous resource cost variables R and W. The resulting system of equations determines the market equilibrium values of the variables P and Q. The total derivative of, for example, P with respect to R, gives the sign and magnitude of the reaction of the market price to the exogenous variable R. In the indicated system, there are a total of six possible total derivatives, also known in this context as comparative static derivatives. DP, Dr. DP, DW, DP, Di, DQ, Dr. DQ, DW, and DQ, Di. The total derivatives are found by totally differentiating the system of equations, dividing through by, say, drive, 
treating de Q, Doctor and DP, Doctor as the unknowns, setting die equals DWE equals zero, and solving the two totally differentiated equations simultaneously, typically by using Kramer's rule.